Hello, my name is Chris Follows. I'm the Dial Project Manager here at the University of the Arts London. Uh, in this video, we're just going to give a quick overview of the progress of the Dial Project. I'm Sean Waring, and I am uh, the, in the jargon, the senior responsible owner for the Dial Project. And when we first started thinking about um, the Dial Project, everybody wanted it. So everybody had a stake in it. HR wanted it, library, IT, communications, and learning and teaching, which is me. And um, it, I think everything we do depends on getting this right. I think digital is the future for creativity. I, I think if you're curious about the world and you're curious about creativity, you have to be looking at what happens digitally. So we've had around 600 blog posts and 55 videos posted up over the last few months by the teachers on our postgraduate certificate programme. And I'm hoping that by now the majority of participants have realised that the sky won't fall on their heads if they open up their reflections to the whole world. I do get a genuine sense that everyone who's participated in the programme this far has gained a better understanding of the benefits and challenges of reflecting online and feels more familiar with the tools and environments that people use in online reflective practice. Now the next steps with this group are to look at what informs the decisions people make as they move towards more open forms of online reflective practice and how others can be helped in making that journey as well. Hello, my name is Laura North. I'm helping set up an online community for presentation skills for the DAR project. To start with, we're focusing on video presentation skills. As part of this, we're, we're running some workshops for the MA Fashion Entrepreneurship course at LCF. Compared to like last class and this class, we are a little more comfortable with the mm -hmm. camera. Like, today I didn't, I didn't mind it being there. Yeah. It was fine. Our project within Dial is based on uh, digital information literacy. So it's about building skills and, and confidence, because I think confidence is a really big issue. 